Many systems include points where flow will discharge to atmosphere. Fire protection systems, crop irrigation systems, golf course watering systems and industrial washing and painting plants are all examples of pipe networks where spray nozzles may be used. When a spray nozzle is included in the design, it is necessary to use the flow versus pressure loss characteristics of the nozzle to establish the flow leaving the system due to the pressure differential across the nozzle. A combination of a component and an end pressure node may be used to model the performance of a spray nozzle. Here we have a simple network with a tank and some connecting pipes where some of the nodes are discharging to atmosphere. On pipe 4, we have a flow control valve, which has set the flow to 65 US gallons per minute, and we have a component representing the sprinkler, and its flow versus head characteristics have been entered into the, the curve loss table, and we have an end pressure set to atmosphere. The other two pipes that lead to atmosphere have no flow control valve, but they do have sprinkler components with flow versus head curve data specified. Because these nodes are discharging to atmosphere, their end pressure is set to zero PSI gauge. If these nodes discharge into a pressurized tank, then the end pressure would be set to the tank pressure. So if we calculate this system, and view the results drawing, we can then look at the flow and pressure drops in various parts of the system. We can also look at the calculated values for a given pipe by hovering over it, and if we click on the component that's modeling the sprinkler, we can compare the component loss for the calculated values with the curve loss data that is specified in the component screen. So in this case, we can see the component loss is 2.1 PSI, which corresponds to a flow rate of just over this value here of 68.57 US gallons per minute. And that also ties in with the flow rate that has been calculated.